Good day, and welcome back my Ka Learners. Today, we will talk about our very own Philippine presidents, their life history, contributions, and achievements. This video tutorial is under history, general education, and social science. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to support through subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are always updated to our educational learnings. Are you ready? I guess you are ready. Number 1 is Emilio Aguinaldo. First and only president of the First Republic, the Malolos Republic, signed the Pact of Bayak na Bato, creating a truce between the Spanish and Philippine revolutionaries. Known as the president of the revolutionary government, led the Philippines in the Spanish-Philippine War and the American-Philippine War, youngest president, taking office at age 28, longest lived president, passing away at 94. The second president is Manuel L. Quezon. Regarded as father of national language, he died of tuberculosis in Saranac Lake, New York. First Senate president elected as president of the Philippines. First president elected through national election. First president under Commonwealth. Created National Council of Education. Initiated women's suffrage in the Philippines during the Commonwealth approved Tagalog or Filipino as the national language of the Philippines, appears on the 20 peso bill, a province, a city, a bridge, and university in Manilair named after him. His body lies within the special monument on Quezon Memorial Circle. Third president was Jose P. Laurel. His presidency was controversial, he was officially the government's caretaker during the Japanese occupation of World War II. Criticized as a traitor by some, his indictment for treason was superseded later by an amnesty proclaimed in 1948. Since the early 1960s, Laurel has been considered as a legitimate president of the Philippines, organized Calabapi, a provisional government during Japanese occupation declared martial law and war between the Philippines and the U.S. United Kingdom in 1944, with his family, established the Lyceum of the Philippines. Fourth president was Sergio Osmia. He was second president of the Commonwealth. During his presidency, the Philippines joined an international monetary fund, became president at 65 making him the oldest person to hold office at the time, superseded by Rodrigo Duterte, who became president at 71, first Visayan to become president. Joined with U.S. General Douglas MacArthur in late in October 20, 1944, to begin restoration of Philippine Ephrodotum after Japanese occupation, the Philippine National Bank was rehabilitated, and the country joined the International Monetary Fund during his presidency. The Bell Trade Act was approved by the U.S. Congress during his presidency, appears on the 50 peso bill. Fifth president was Manuel Rojas. He was the fifth president of the Philippines, the third and last president under the Commonwealth, and the, the first president of the Third Republic of the Philippines. He held office for only one year, 10 months, and 18 days. Inaugurated as the first president of the new republic after World War II, reconstruction from war damage and life without foreign rule began during his presidency. Under his term, the Philippine Rehabilitation Act and Philippine Trade Act laws were accepted by Congress, appears on the 100 peso bill. Sixth president was Elpidio Carino, served as vice president under Manuel Rojas. When Rojas died in 1948, Carino became president. Hukbalahap guerrilla movement was active during his presidency, created Social Security Commission, created Integrity Board to monitor graft and corruption, Quezon City Beckham capital of the Philippines in 1948. Seventh president was Ramon Magsay, Sai. He was born in Elba, Zambales. He was a military governor and an engineer. He died in an aircraft disaster while boarding the presidential plane. 
Hukbalahap movement quelled during his presidency, chairman of the Committee on Guerrilla Affairs First President, sworn into office wearing a barong tagalog during inauguration. The presidency referred to as the Philippines' golden year for its lack of corruption. The Philippines was ranked second in Asia's clean and well-governed countries during his presidency. Established national resettlement and rehabilitation adiamen, among other agrarian reforms. Eight president was Carlos P. Garcia. A lawyer, poet, and teacher, also served as a guerrilla leader during the Pacific War. Born in Bohol, Garcia served as vice president under Ramon Magsai Sai and as Secretary of Foreign Affairs for four years. He became president when Magsai Sai died in 1957. Known for Filipino First Policy, which favored Filipino business over foreign investor, established the austerity program focusing on Filipinatrid and commerce. Known as the Prince of Visayan Poets and the Bard from Bohol, cultural arts was revived during his term was the first president to have his remains buried at the Lubingan and Emga Bayani. Nine president was Diosdado Macapagal. Born in Lubao, Pampanga, he was a lawyer and professional. His daughter Gloria Macapagal Royo was the 14th and seconfamal president of the Philippines. Enacted the first land reform law, allowing forth purchase of private farmland to be distributed in inexpensive small lots to the landless, placed the Philippine peso on the current change market, declared June 12, 1898 to be Philippines Independence Day, signed the minimum wage law, created the Philippine Veterans Bank. Tenth president was Ferdinand Marcos. Born in Sarat, Ilocos Norte, he was a lawyer and Senate president for three years. He was president for 21 years. He ruled under martial law and his dictatorship was known for its corruption and brutality. Marcos was removed from office after People Power Revolution. First president to win a second term, declared martial law on September 21, 1972, increased the size of the Philippine military and armed forces. By 1980, the Philippine GNP was four times greater than the figure in 1972. By 1986, the Philippines was one of the most indebted countries in Asia, built more school, roads, bridges, hospital, and other infrastructure than all former presidents combined. Eleventh president was Corazon Aquino, the first woman president of the Philippines and the first woman to become president of an Asian country. She was born in Paniqui, Tarlac. She was prominent figure in the People Power Revolution that brought down Ferdinand Marcos' dictatorship. Her husband, Benigno Aquino Jr., was a senator during the Marcos regime and its strongest critics. He was assassinated while Marcos was still in power. She restored democracy, abolished the 1973 Marcos Constitution and shared in the new Constitution of the Philippines, reorganized the structure of the executive branch of the government. Signed the Family Code of 1987, a major civil law reform, and 1991 Local Government Code, initiated charitable and social activities helping the poor and the needy. Named Woman of the Year in 1986 by the magazine, on the 500 peso bill together with her husband, received honors and awards. Twelfth President was Fidel V. Ramos. He was the chief of staff of the armed forces of the Philippines before he became president. He was also a civil engineer. He restored economic growth and stability in the country, even during the Asian financial crisis in 1997. He is the first, and so far the only, non-Catholic president. He oversaw Philippine economic growth presided over celebrations of Philippinendant Centennial in 1998, received British knighthood from the United Kingdom be Queen Elizabeth II, hosted the 4th Asia-Pacific Economic Operation Leaders Summit in the Philippines in 1996, Philippine Stock Exchange became an international favishad of Aveshavora during his presidency, the death penalty reinstated while he was in office signed peace agreement with Rebel Moro National Liberation Front. 
13th president was Joseph Estrada. Known as a rap, he was the first president who had been a famous film actor. His presidency was controversial. During his years in office, economic growth was slow, and he faced impeachment proceedings. He was ousted from the presidency in 2001. He was later convicted of stealing from the government but was pardoned. He ran unsuccessfully for president in 2010. During his presidency, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front headquarters and camps were captured, joined other leaders and politicians to try to amend the 1987 Constitution, cited as one of the three outstandingly senators in 1989. Among the magnificent 12 who voted to terminate the agreement that allows for U.S. control of Clarker Base and Subic Naval Base. 14th President was Gloria Macapagal Royal. The second female president, the Oakwood mutiny occurred during her term. Arroyo oversaw road and infrastructure improvements and higher economic growth that presidents before her. But there was also controversy. The so-called Hello Garchi controversy involved recording that allegedly captured royal ordering rigging of the election that put her in office. In 2005, Arroyo faced impeachment proceedings related to the recordings, but the impeachment failed. After she had left office, Arroyo faced additional cages of election fraud and misuse of state funds. Second female president of the country, first female vice president of the Philippines, first president to take oath outside Luzon, former economic professor at the Ateneo de Manila University, where former president Benigno III was one of her students. Ex-classmate of former U.S. President Bill Clinton at Georgetown University's Walsh School of Foreign Service, where she maintained Dean's List status, oversaw higher economic growth than the past three presidents before her. The peso became the best-performing currency of the year in Asia in 2007. The Avat law was implemented under her term. Fifteenth President was Benigno Aquino III. He joined the House of Representatives in the Senate before his presidency. He is the first president who is bachelor. He is unmarried and has no children. Created the No Wang Wang policy. Appointed statesman Jesse Robredo to serve as Secretary of Interior and Local Government in 2010, where Robredo served until his death in 2012. Initiated K-12 education in the Philippines. Renamed the Office of the Press Secretary to Presidential Commission Operations Office and appointed new officers, suspended allowances and bonuses to government financialist and board members, oversaw 7.1% growth of the Philippine economy in 2012. 16th President was Rodrigo Duterte. Rodrigo Roa Duterte, also known as Dega Rodi, and by the initials PERD, is a Filipino lawyer and politician who served as the 16th President of the Philippines from June 30, 2016, to June 30, 2022. He is the chairperson of PDP Laban. Duterte is the first president from Indanian, oldest person to be elected president of the Philippines. He is also the first Philippine president to have worked in the three branches of the government. He is known for his advocacies on drugs and federalism. He implemented an intensified war on drugs and prioritized infrastructure spending, initiating the Build, Build, Build infrastructure program. He initiated liberal economic reforms by amending the Foreign Investment Act of 1991 and Public Service Act to attract foreign investors, and reformed the country's tax system by signing the Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion Law and Corporate Recovery and Tax Incentives for Enterprises Act while raising sin taxes on non-essential goods. He took measures to eliminate corruption, red tape, and money laundering by establishing the freedom of information under the executive branch, signing the Ease of Doing Business Act, creating the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission, and strengthening the Anti-Money Laundering Act. He liberalized rice imports by signing the rice tariffication law to stabilize rice prices, granted free irrigation to small farmers, signed the Sajip Saka Act, and created a trust fund for coconut farmers. 
He implemented an intensified campaign against terrorism and communist insurgency. He signed the controversial Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020 and oversaw the five-month-long Battle of Marawi, declaring martial law throughout Mindanao and extending it for two years to ensure order in the island. He initially pursued peace talks with the Communist Party of the Philippines and appointed several left-leaning individuals to government positions, but cancelled all negotiations in February 2017 following attacks and kidnapping of soldiers by New People's Army rebels. Officially declaring the CPNPA as a terrorist group, he ordered the creation of a task force to end local communist armed conflict and the task force Balak Loop for the reintegration of former communist rebels. He signed into law the Banks Amoro Organic Law Ball, establishing the Banks Amoro Autonomous Region, and signed proclamations granting amnesty to members of the Moro National Liberation Front and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. Duterte signed free college education in all state universities and colleges through the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Act, provided medical scholarships through the Dr. Para Sa Bayan Act, institutionalized the alternative learning system, established transnational higher education in the country, and signed the Free Internet Access in Public Places Act. He signed the automatic enrollment of all Filipinos under the government's health insurance program through the Universal Health Care Act, signed the Philippine Mental Health Law, signed a law establishing malasocket centers in public hospitals, ordered the full implementation of the reproductive health law, banned smoking in public places nationwide, and set a price cap on select medicines. He oversaw the COVID-19 pandemic in the country, signed laws creating the Philippine Space Agency and the Departments of Housing and Urban Development and Migrant Workers. He institutionalized a national identification system and the Pantawid Pamulyang Pilipino program, raised the age of sexual consent to 16, criminalized child marriage, simplified the adoption process, and launched the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program. Duterte has pursued an independent foreign policy, pursuing improved relations with Canandrasis and lessening the country's dependence on its traditional ally, the United States. Duterte's domestic approval rating has been relatively high throughout his presidency despite criticism and international opposition to his anti-narcotics drive. And our newly elected president, the 17th president of the Philippines, is Ferdinand Marcos, Jr. Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., commonly referred to as Bongbong Marcos and by the initials BBM or PBM, is a Filipino politician who is the 17th and current president of the Philippines. He previously served as a senator from 2010 to 2016. Born September 13, 1957, he is the second child and only son of former President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. Marcos has promised unifying leadership and to prioritize pandemic recovery and the economy. He also has pledged to the farm sector, decongest the capital Manila's roads, push removals and continue fighting a long-running communist insurgency. My dearly beloved fellow citizens, let us support him for the task that God has entrusted to him. Let us pray for the betterment of our country and look forward for his contribution and achievements. My co-learners, I hope you learned from our historical video presentation, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Congratulations and God bless. See you to my next video.